Kamus. Come on, you can ski to next time, mate. What? Got to snow, yo. I need some to snow. So do that, snow. I need that, yo. Anna Daki, get the gas ox for more, get the stack again. And Kigawaki was Kigakuma tapis to cheap, a key oxen. And Kidaxi Dakuma tapu Kidako kids in Chicago. Oh, can Anatakin Anataki, an Akan Stawak, CP to be to Hi, kids. Taggart's the name. So, what can I do for you today? How about a sing song? Mademoiselle from Armatier, parlez-vous? Pita! Mademoiselle from Armatier, Pita! come on, parlez -vous. Pita! Come on, everybody, come on. Mademoiselle from Armatier, parlez-vous? Mademoiselle from Armatier, hadn't been kissed in 40 years, inky dinky, parlez-vous? <laughs> now, onto the good stuff. All right. Where did these come from? Whoa. Want to get on the plane? One for everybody? Mmm. Who wants to get on the plane? One more for the guy that gets on the plane. Oh, you want to go first, do you? Go on in, sweetheart. There you go. Not afraid, are you? Taco Potwa. It's the Three 
Eight for St. Paul, two for King George. Crank it up, bud. And the power invested in me is Indian agent for the government of the Dominion of Canada in accordance with Regulation 31 of the Indian Act of 1925, in cooperation with the Anglican and Roman Catholic... Now, come on. You people were warned. You're supposed to bring your kids down to the schools. Sure, who's going ashore? Come on, sweetheart, don't be afraid. Let's get you down. There you go. And you, little lady. Bye. Pam, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Off we go. Stay together. That's it. Good morning, Taggart. Here we go now. That's it. Give us the younger one. Sir! Sir! Yes, leave him with me, Father. Otherwise, we're both going to have a devil of a time. Good day, Father. Good day to you, Taggart. Well, it looks like you both get to be Anglicans. Are you Miss Willemberry, the new teacher? That's me, at your service. Uh, Taggart's the name. I was asked to give you a ride out to the school. I'm pleased to meet you. And who are you, then? Uh, I would be a little cautious, ma'am. They're usually carrying one thing or another. Please, lie still, clean them up at the school. I'm Kathleen, but my mother calls me Kate. But the girl's Ashtokomi, so she says. Uh, the boy's called Peter. They'll give him Christian names at the school, of course. Peter? Ashtokomi. You really should get going, ma'am. It's a long way to the school. Where are you from, man? Paradise, Cape Breton. Paradise? Well, you're a long way from home. Not far enough for me. Let's set your sights out here. A photograph. The faces of some Indian children. Our minister told me there was a need of teachers. And my Gertie always said, I'd never experienced life by sitting back looking at it, so here I am. Are you a teacher then, Mr. Taggart? Me, teacher? No, man. I'm just a local Indian agent. In charge of transportation, you might say. You must find it very satisfying to be helping these poor children get a good education, learn to read and write, and have a wider understanding of the world. Do they tell you anything about this school or about teaching the Indians? Yes, of course. It's a fine Christian institution doing God's work. And then the children, 
way our children are the same anywhere. They need love and patience and careful guidance. And just why are you grinning at me like a great ape? Well, ma'am, it's just been a long while since I heard horse dung piled so pretty. But thanks be to God that a cynical man like yourself is not teaching these poor children. Thanks be to God. I wouldn't have the stomach for it. She'll be Amelia, number 61. He'll be Abraham, number 67. Now, you stay here, sweetheart, and you do what Miss Weir tells you to do. And in a couple days, things won't seem so bad. Mata Kuiki. Please, Mr. Taggart, not here in the school. Goodbye, sweetheart. Tomato po! No talking gobbledygook. That wasn't so bad, was it?
hope you'll enjoy your work here. I'm sure I will. It isn't easy. I've been here for eight years, and I'm just beginning to break through to the children. <laughs> They're such marvelous creatures. And Miss Willemberry, an end or a middle cut? Middle, if you please. I told you to keep that filthy little cur out of here, Babcock. He's not filthy. Gentlemen, please. Well, Miss Willemberry, we're all very pleased to have you here with us. I'm happy to be here. The school is very impressive. Yes. I imagine you've already been imbued with Mr. Babcock's liberal vision of education for our little brown children of the prairie. Well, yes, he... The fact is, uh, a liberal approach isn't very effective in our work here. It's a kindness that only prolongs despair. These children come to us from a dead culture that's like a millstone around their necks, and our job is to remove this terrible burden and give them their freedom. I'm sure if you understand that, you'll find your work here very rewarding indeed. So what do we got here? A real live bush in you. A real little savage. Just came in. Can't even talk. She's got a lot to learn, don't she? Itomata, minutsikit. She's just a stupid Indian. Don't eat her this time. I'll talk to her. Make sure it don't happen no more. Please. Get up. Clean her up. Put her in the dorm for a few hours. And this better not happen again. <laughs> The linen is in the cupboard. The toilet is down the hall on your right. Uh, breakfast is at seven. Sharp. Thank you, Miss Weir. Good night, then. If they done to you, you poor creature. It's all right. Never hurt you. You must be missing your home and your family. Me too. I guess what we have to do, now that we're here, is simply make the best of it. I'll well, see you better tomorrow. Wait, stop. Stop! What are you doing in here? I... I'm sorry. I only...
Shh, don't speak Indian. They'll beat you. I'm Rachel. Uh, I'm a stock of me. No, you ain't. You're Amelia. You going to behave yourself? All right, then. Bring her along. <laughs> Be seated and bow your heads. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Give us this day from God. our daily bread. A piece and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God save the king. God save the king. Good morning, children. Good morning, Reverend Buckley. Today, we welcome some newcomers. Say good morning to Amelia. Good morning, Amelia. And to Abraham. Good morning, Abraham. And also say hello to our new teacher. Peter. <clears throat> and also say hello to our new teacher, Miss Willemberry. Good morning, Miss Willemberry. Good morning. I hope you'll all make them feel very much at home. And now, let us praise God in song for the glory of a new day. She don't speak no English, miss. Well, come on, you can sit over here. Good morning, class. I'm your new teacher, Miss Gwillenberry. I hope we shall all be good friends. Back home, you measure your wealth by the number of your friends. So you're all going to make me rich, right? So, perhaps some of you can tell me about where you come from. How about you, Sarah? We ain't supposed to tell. We ain't supposed to talk about it. Oh, I see. Well, maybe someone can read the poem you were last learning. Turn to page 49 in your readers. Amelia, please. Ache, 
Agent Miner and he stoppeth one. Thank you, Ruth. Well, someone tell me what the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is about. What happens to all the other men on the ship? Davy. Come now, stand up, please. That's it. Davy, can you tell the class what a mariner is? <laughs> you may be excused, Davy. Kathleen. May I speak with you a moment? Yes, of course. I've just had my first class. Yes, it, uh, it's always a, a little difficult at first. Difficult? Reverend Buckley, those poor children can barely read a word. A and, and that new girl, Amelia? Why, the poor child can't even speak English. And they've been brutalized. Now, just how might I get the trust and respect of those children when they think I'm about to beat them silly at any moment? Kathleen, believe me, I do understand the frustrations you feel. At first, it... Well, the, the task seems almost insurmountable, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I, I think that's why I took up gardening. These are all wildflowers, all local. Magazines have come to take photographs, yes. Yes, they're lovely, but... Of course, they're, they're nothing but weeds. Out there in the wild, they grow in repugnant profusion. But here, in the confines of a carefully tended garden, well, you can see how beautifully they grow. Of course, they don't transplant easily. They take more time and patience and work than domestic flowers. I've found, after I gather them, that I must first scrape every trace of the old soil from their roots and plant them in fertile new earth, water them well, weed them, and cut them back often, or they will return to the wild. Reverend Buckley, I'm talking about children. Thinking, feeling creatures. I assure you, Kathleen. I assure you. So am I. Anyway, we're friends, ain't we? Friends? Friends. Friends. Hungry. Uh, hungry? You know, eat. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Eat. So when you and your brother escape? You crazy. No one ever escapes from here. You know what's gonna happen to us? God's gonna get us. He's gonna throw us into a deep dark hole forever and ever. Forever and ever. You stupid bush Indian. What do you think you're doing? You come here all cocky and sure of yourself like you think you know something. You don't know nothing. You're an animal, you understand? An animal. Mm -hmm. 
Rachel. Mercy days. What's she doing? Uh, it's a sweet grass ritual. Into chapel now. Apple. Apple. Apistaminum. No, in English, Amelia. Apple. Apistaminum. Punakomita, mamio, mootsis, mostoki, moapsi, moxisis, moi. No, Amelia, in English. Apple. Apistaminum. All right. Apistaminum. <laughs> Punacomita. Punacomita. Mamia. 
Ma mia. <laughs> Mozis. Mozis. Motoki. Moto Mot Motoki. Moapsp. Moapspi. Mohoxesis. Mohoxesis. Moyi. Moyi. <laughs> now, will you just try apple for me? Just once? Apple. Hand. Ears. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Fist. Horse. Get Miss Weir. Sweetheart. What'd she say? Next time, they're gonna take a horse. How goes God's work, ma'am? Why don't you ask him tonight, Mr. Taggart? In your prayers. 
Quite an adventure. Ah, kita pukpua. Siakian stipyuk skasp. Nematskinik. Now, Amelia, you must understand. You have no choice. This is your home now. Escoit, ach tu capi, corpi quistes. O que comi? Me não te está por escassit, a cuca que se matiu. Anuk, anukukuan, kiamukchi, kishukuan. Kani, kishi, makats, kyukyu. There will be no more escapes. I forbid it. You will accept this, I promise you. Now off you go. Kako. Yes, come in. I'm sorry about Amelia, Reverend Buckley. I don't know where she gets these ideas. Oh, that's all right, Kathleen. Oh, hello, Mr. Taggart. And how's business? No joy in it today, ma'am. Kathleen, I received a message from RCMP Superintendent Gilchrist last night with some very tragic news for Amelia. I had Mr. Taggart confirm the report this morning. It's not too unusual with some of these bands refusing inoculation. Something terrible has happened. I got to see my copy. There's been a terrible sickness in your village. Steep, steep, stumpsini, I got boots. Your mother and your father are dead. Did you stop? Gaginna. I can't near. The Red Cross was evacuating the village this morning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Amelia! Ha, ha, ha. 
What's the matter with her anyway? Been at it two days now. They must have really whooped her. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Taggart. Well, I wanted to tell you, mm -hmm. I thought that was a fine pageant. The kids are lucky to have you. Oh, it's all they're doing. And I was thinking, if we're going to keep bumping into each other, maybe we should try to be civil. All right. You realize where we're standing? I'll be civil to you, Mr. Taggart, but I'd rather kiss a skunk. Who's the smart-looking girl there chatting with Reverend Buckley? Oh, that's uh, the widow Barrington. She usually makes a fat donation to the school this time of year. You sure got Buckley's number, huh? And let me introduce the newest member of our teaching staff, Miss Willembury. Miss Willembury. Reverend Buckley has told me all about the fine things you've been doing with your students. And that young girl, your protege? Amelia. Oh. 
Uh, and here she is. Amelia, <laughs> come and say hello to Mrs. Barrington. She wants to meet you. Hello, Amelia. Hello, miss. Your reading and singing were excellent. And Reverend Buffy tells me that you couldn't even speak English when you came here. I speak now. Yes, you certainly do. <laughs> well, we'll let you get back to your cookies and milk. I hope we see each other again soon. I hope too. Bye. Bye-bye, Amelia. Oh, she's adorable. You must be very proud of yourself. It's Amelia I'm proud of, ma'am. Yes, I can see why. Hi. Hi. What do you do? Not much. What, this? Maps. Maps of the world. Show you other places, ma'am. Like... See, this is where we are now. Them's mountains, them's lakes. There's other places far away. Like, there's this one called Hawaii. Got oranges growing everywhere. <laughs> Can just pick them right off the trees all year round. Mm. Nobody's ever hungry, and it's always sunny and hot. That's where I'm gonna go when I get out of here next year. Hawaii. You not go home? Ain't got a home no more. My mama's got a new man now. I got no home, too. No? You want to come with me to Hawaii? We'll pick oranges <laughs> off the tree. I bet they haven't even heard of Indians there. <laughs> Silly, it's from God. But why does it come? It's Christmas, don't you know nothing? Mm. See, a long time ago, the herald angel came and showed Mary and Joseph that there was a kid in among the sheep. The Lamb of God, right? He taught the animals how to talk. And then Santa came and gave them presents. But baby Jesus said, give them presents to the other kids. And that's why ever since we get stuff at Christmas. Why don't the animals speak now? I think it got them into too much trouble. <laughs> What's up be do with you? Nothing. She hurt you? No. It don't matter. If I tell Miss Willenberry, I should make her stop. No, and... don't tell nobody. Tell nobody, okay? Promise. Blessed are the they who suffer persec persecution, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It's beautiful, Amelia. <laughs> You're truly a wonder. That's how the Beatitudes should be read. Our old Reverend Ambrose used to shout them to the skies. <laughs> Paul used to call them old piss and thunder. <laughs> <laughs> it was Paul. Always a friend. 
boyfriend? Is he gonna get married? No. No. He found someone else to be with. I, I lost my boyfriend, too. Well, he wasn't really my boyfriend, but we looked at each other a lot in the village. <laughs> but I got a new boyfriend here, and he showed me how to read maps. And we're gonna go to Hawaii. <laughs> Can I come, then? Yeah. We'll all go to Hawaii together. That's what we'll do. We'll all go to Hawaii and we'll learn the hula dance. <laughs> Mrs. Barrington is inviting me and Amelia over for tea. Is that all right? Do we have permission to go? Oh, certainly. Oh, you know, I've been neglectful in not telling you just how impressed I am with all your successes. With, with all the children, but especially with Amelia. Thank you, Reverend Buckley. You go and have a wonderful time. I know Mrs. Barrington would love to see you both. She's been a great friend of the school. We'll miss her. Is she leaving? Oh, yes, of course, you didn't know. Yes, uh, she's moving back to Montreal in the spring. And, uh, oh, I think I can tell you. There's been a hint of a very substantial farewell gift. A library. A library? Oh, how wonderful for the children. Do you really think she'll do it? Oh, yes, I do. And uh, there's something else. Mrs. Barrington's been talking to me about adopting an Indian child. Amelia. She wants to adopt Amelia. Oh, I know you've grown fond of her, Kathleen, but nothing's decided yet. You go and have a nice visit, hmm? Enjoy the tea. But you will remember how important this is, won't you? For the school, and more importantly for Amelia. This is Amelia. How do you do? How do you do, ma'am? And will you take one lump or two, Amelia? Three, ma'am. Why, you little piglet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you and Amelia could come to my home, Kathleen. Thank you for inviting us, ma'am. I always find the atmosphere of the school slightly stuffy. I suspect it's Reverend Buckley. No, no, <laughs> please don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Oh, you've been like a breath of fresh air, my dear. As one can see from Amelia. <clears throat> what tribe are you from, Amelia? Uh, um, Kanai, ma'am. Ah. Fine horseman, the Kanai. My late husband had a penchant for the study of Indians. Do you ride, Kathleen? Yes, I do, ma'am. Hmm. Well, then you'd be interested to know that the Kanai was one of the first tribes of the region to trade for horses with the southwestern tribes. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. But I bet you did. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up, Amelia? I would like to be a woman. Yes, but would you like to be a dressmaker or a, or a nurse or perhaps a teacher like Miss Gulenberry? Oh, when I have children, I think I'd be all those things. Yes. I dare say you will. <laughs> And I shall hear the soft you tread above me, and all my grave will warmer, sweeter be, and you will bend and tell me that you love me, and I will sleep.
and there was this little noisy bird in a box, and animal heads coming right out of the walls. And the lady, she smelled like a million flowers. I was almost sick. Go put on your Indian clothes. Anuk, Sukapi, you act funny. You wear funny clothes. Think you like it here. Mitsigst, Akumata Posi, Ki, Aksnayoki Mog. We have to wait a little while. Ritual is uh, the white ritual to become a woman. You have to help me. Well, there is no ritual, dear. That sort of thing's all a part of your old ways. You're a Christian now. Now listen. Say a little prayer of thanks to God. Then go and see the nurse. She'll tell you all about what to do. Okay. Where are you going, teacher's pet? Any teacher's pet? Where are you going? <laughs> Me. What's the matter with you anyway? How come you've been acting so funny? You think you're too good for the rest of us? No. You know, when you first came here, you were one crazy Indian. You were really something. You didn't take no guff from anybody. I was proud to be your friend. And suddenly you start to go all white on me. Why? What happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Must have been something. What'd she do to you? Nothing. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> My family's all dead. They all got sick. They all died. Why you never told me that? But you're still Indian, ain't you? I don't know nothing about being Indian. Never had no family. Been here all my life. But I still feel it. I don't ever die. No. I don't die. Mister. Will you help me? <sighs> Dear Jesus, if this is a bad thing, I hope you forgive us. You are my friend, and now we are sisters. For the moon is our grandmother. She brings, she brings life to the earth. Life to the earth. In the dew of the night, as you will bring life to the earth. You were Amelia, and now you will be, what should I call you? You say, I don't know. What did your name used to be? Astokumi. And now, you'll be Astokumi. Again. Even when we become stars in the sky, in your daughters and in their daughters, who you have given life, you will live forever.
come for my children. They're still coming. Pita. Summer is coming. I come to take them home. Do you hear? Your children? But sickness. We understood. Sickness? They're still coming. Pita. No, I'm very sorry, but there, there are no children here by that name. Where are they from? Kani, Peskil Mountain. Ah, well, you see, we only service the local reserves. Not here. No. But you must try St. Mary's. It's two days' ride to the south. They must be there. How could you have done this? Invented this, this horrible pack of lies? You, you and Mr. Taggart. It was necessary. She was beginning to affect the discipline of the other students. There would be more resistance, more escapes, a breakdown of order. But with her people gone, she has the chance to escape that pagan world forever. But they're alive. You can't do this. Wait, please hear me out. She is a bright and gifted child, Kathleen, in part your creation. Imagine if she became Barrington's heir. Imagine how she could lead and elevate her people, all of our hopes and dreams for her. Her potential is unlimited. But if you let them take her now, the fruits of your work will wither and die. She will become a savage, once more, condemned to a life of squalor, with no thought but eating and sleeping, bedded by a succession of men, mother to a brood of little bastards. But if you want, Kathleen, call them back. Yes, call them back. You're free to do so. But if you do, be prepared to lose her forever. Time's up. a little girl at home. We used to go to the secret sun dances. My cousins and aunts. See the different dancers. They could jump so high. So high they just never come down. Higher than the birds of the clouds. They never, 
to touch the sun. Rachel? If your tracking is as good as your acting ability, Mr. Taggart, you should have no problem. Oh, it was fine, then, ma'am. It's up to you how to keep me here. Wasn't bad. If they were taking their time, she could have caught up in a day or two. Really? And she had a good day's head start on Tiger. I'll bet she made it. Bet she's watching the sun dance now. <laughs> Have your very own room. And we'll go to the galleries and the museum and the cinema. We'll have so much fun together. Would you like to come and live with me, Amelia? Oh. Well, yes, I, I guess I would. Maybe for a little while. Uh, until I go to Hawaii. I promised someone I'd go to Hawaii with them. <laughs> very well. Until then. <laughs> oh, but Abraham must come. I couldn't go without my brother. No, no, we won't forget Abraham. And now Amelia must get back to class. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Oh. Till next week. Goodbye. Oh, and Amelia, perhaps it would be better not to mention this to Abraham and the other students. Not just yet. Of course, the boy would be too much. Yes, of course. <laughs> Stop that nonsense. People were moving quick. She didn't have the strength to catch up. The coroner will want to come out. May we know that all your paths are mercy and truth. May we find comfort in the knowledge that for everything there is a purpose. And your works are a mystery. Amen. This young girl, Rachel. Poorna. Her name is Poorna, not Rachel. Call her by her real name, for God's sakes. Poorna, Kisum. You tell me, Reverend. What is it that makes a young girl run across the prairie for three days with no food or water trying to get away from this place? Sure as hell isn't God's work. Whatever it is, I've had enough of it.
They should thank God they got a teacher like you, Kate. Don't let them turn you into one of them. Bye, Rachel. Touch the sun. Become a star. I only nesh the path be I was born more saki, nits the pimic saki. The cooks are on my guitar, Penan. I came at Tokinan. I. know who did this. When they get her down, they have to be punished. Do you understand? I must tell you how bitterly disappointed I am with you, Amelia. I thought we were past all this. I don't see how we can possibly let you go and live with Mrs. Barrington, not after something like this. Oh, but Amelia wouldn't. There is one thing you can do. You must pray for forgiveness, and then we'll see. me from the darkness of my past. Oh, Lord, protect me from the darkness of my past. Oh, Lord, have mercy and forgive my great sin. Oh, Lord, have mercy and forgive my great sin. George, Abraham, you first time. Up against the bed. You'll have to wait your turn.
want her bag packed and ready tonight. Mrs. Barrington will be here first thing in the morning. I... I don't know if I can go through with it. What do you mean? You had your option. For God's sake, the poor girl has the right to know her parents are alive. You are too good a teacher to end your career by undermining this adoption. Amelia's happy with the arrangement, isn't she? And that is the important thing. What else can you tell me about Montreal? Well, I only passed through it by the train. But from what I saw, it seems a lovely city. I can't believe we're leaving tomorrow. Abraham will be so happy. Amelia, you do like Mrs. Barrington, don't you? Yes. Are you sure you'll be happy? Yes, <laughs> but... But what? But I'll miss you. I came to say goodbye. Uh, I'm going to live with that lady. I didn't really think it was going to happen. Amelia, they lied to you. Your family is alive. They're alive. Why are you saying that? Why do you want to it's hurt It's true. Me? I heard them talking tonight. Buckley, Miss Williamberry. They said a little while ago that your father came looking for you. They sent him away. I'm lying. It's the truth. They lied to you. They wanted you to go away and live with that Barrington woman. <sighs> Amelia! I'm going home. I'm leaving tonight. Come with us, sister. We live with my family. You can be my sister. Let's go. I can't go with you. This has always been my home. I'm too scared. I'll never forget you. Goodbye.
Amelia, I have something to tell you. Good morning. Good morning, Lovamina. Is she ready? I'm afraid there, there seems to be uh, some sort of problem. What kind of problem? That is not my name. My name is Astokomi. And you are alive. Kumi. Nothing you can say is gonna make me go back there. We are going home. I didn't come here to take you back. I came to ask you to forgive me. They're not lies. Maybe someday you and I will 